uh, yeah, I wanted to get a little house set up, and this is it. Now, for the first time ever, guys, I tried to build something based on a picture. Um, I tried to build something based on a picture, and I'll put the picture up on the screen for you now. I was trying to imitate a house from Skyrim. Oh, what is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved from the Iron Mine server. And as I promised, guys, it's just you and me today. There will be lots of collabs in the future. I've been talking to two of the guys on here, Mick, uh, who's Mick Mastodon on YouTube, and Chris, who's SW Chris on YouTube. And we're going to be doing some regular, regular get-togethers to record together. And this, uh, you saw it uh, at the end of the debut episode. This is the hotel at the Maw. This is one of the most dangerous spots on the island. Um, but lucky for me, I got a lot of pretty cool people in my tribe that have been slowly building this place up. And guys, you've seen me level up. You've seen me go through the basic uh, progression in the past. And uh, I wanted to skip through that. And it helps that it's incredibly fun to play on this server, but I have been playing. And uh, thanks to the generosity of some of my tribe mates, we are way, way ahead of where we've ever been in the past, I think. Uh, so I wanted to get a little spawn house set up here. Uh, we call it spawn, I think, because everybody on this uh, server is a Minecrafter. Um, but um, uh, yeah, I wanted to get a little house set up, and this is it. Now, for the first time ever, guys, I tried to build something based on a picture. Um, I tried to build something based on a picture, and I'll put the picture up on the screen for you now. I was trying to imitate a house from Skyrim, and you kind of get a little little peek at it. I even added in this cooking pot and the chairs around the outside that you probably see in that picture. I ended up having to do them on the opposite side of what I planned because I couldn't really get a good deck going in here without using pillars, and I didn't really want to use pillars. Um, so this is the house. Uh, this is uh, UTC's house here on uh, Spawn, and uh, you met Zero last episode, guys. Zero was a gift from Lady M. Uh, Zero's dead. Uh, he didn't make it. I landed too close to a giant snake, and it ate uh, him alive. I managed to escape with my life, but that's it. Luckily for us, though, uh, the same day that Zero was given to us, uh, Gil, who's one of the other guys on the server, to be honest, I'm just catching up with everybody. I don't know if Gil... As a YouTube channel, or if he's an aspiring YouTuber, or if he's a streamer, or what. But um, Gil, who uh, I think is also known as Paul Claus, gave me this. Gave me this beast. It was originally called Purple Nurple, but it's now 02, and she is a level 198. Pretty sick. And then I went and tamed this fella. This is Bogart. No, not Bort. Bogart. Uh, he's a, uh, he's an orange raptor, which you guys know I love, and, um, I borrowed a bunch of, uh, Dilophosaurus to, to go hunting with the guy. He is pretty awesome. He's the highest level dinosaur I've ever found. He was a 114, I think, in the wild, something like that, tamed up at 139, and I have since leveled him up. You can see how huge and active, uh, this place is. A lot of dinosaurs here, and if you see the tags on them, IM means Iron Mine. That's sort of a community dino. Got a little community storage here. Why don't we take a really quick tour around uh, Spawn, and if this ends up being a longer episode, so be it. This base, I am not yet sure whose it is, but it's pretty boss looking, all red and whatnot. This one, uh, this guy's, I think, if he's on the server, he's not that active. I'm temporarily borrow his little preserving fridge here. Oh. It doesn't work all that well. All my meat's gone. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's the Battle of Bronto. This is something I missed. A bunch of brightly colored chests that at some point were full of gifts. I think around Christmas? Yeah, Santa Rex. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll show you a couple more of the bases and a couple more of the dinosaurs that populate this spot. This is why it's such a great spot to start out for me, guys, because I could hop on Big Bully, who's a 205 T-Rex. And just go out there and, and level up a little bit, right? And with all the added settings in this place, um, or on this server, it hasn't been much of a problem. So this, I think, is Kane's... Oh, am I dehydrated? It is. Let me see if I got a... I have a, a thing of water. No, I don't. That's cool. Uh, let's crush some berries real fast, then. Don't want to be passing out in the middle of the beginning of this episode. 
And you can see, guys, I'm level 45. That's about as high as we've ever been. And that's just from a couple of sessions of playing. So this is Kane's little spot. He's one of the guys on the server. He has a much bigger base up near Mick, who I mentioned earlier. And then um, we'll come around this side. So we have a, a gate out the east and the west. I think this is the... I'm trying to remember which one's which. This is the eastern gate, and it opens onto the river. And the western gate has a bridge coming off it. This is a really uh, big build. It's got a lot of cool... This is good if you're a total noob. Uh, step one, gather wood and rocks. Step two, make a campfire and kill a dodo. Suffer many deaths at the hands of many angry dinos. Run for your life and find a companion. And when all else fails, call a friend and get airlifted to a safer location. I love it. Here's a very tiny base. Nothing going on there. Uh, this one is the Iron Mine Town Hall. I've actually never been in here. I guess this is where we sit for meetings. Uh, I don't even know what this thing is. It's magnificent. Uh, I Yeah, I never poked my head in this little build. Uh, this one... Uh, what do we got? Equipment storage. I don't know whose equipment storage. And you get a cute little base hiding in here. Who does it say? Does it say whose it is? House Thor. That's Thor, who I have not yet met, but I've heard much of. Uh, this is a just giant storage area. I'm not sure whose base this one was to start out. Uh, and then right over... Is that it? Yeah, this is the Dwarves Tavern. I guess it's supposed to be turned into a bar. It doesn't really look like one yet. Um, and then we got this. This is the Hotel California. This is our, our Ma Hotel. Uh, so when you're totally brand new, there's a bunch of beds, bunch of storage, great places to set up. I never even bothered, guys. Uh, I just get out of my way. Let me get out. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get my, get my ass down to my little... Oh, wait, one more. I think I forgot. This is Cryo's house. Cryo, you guys met in the first episode. He was of the two people that were uh, up on those Quetzalcoatls following me around as I did the death run. He was the guy that was up there. The other is Lady M. And he, honestly, I love this house. I love the way it looks. I think it's one of the best-looking spawn houses there is. Really simple, but really well done. I like it. Uh, now, so I don't uh, die of thirst. Let's head. Uh, let's head down to the uh, water over here, and then I'll give you a little tour of my house. I think we've been all the way around this place. Yeah. Okay. So, and this is the other gate. This is the one with the bridge going across it. And um, beyond that, guys, I've been geared up with so many generous gifts. Uh, as you can see, metal pick. We ain't never had that before. Metal axe. Pretty boss. Wait, let me get in this door. Uh, we got a pike, which is like, whoops, the advanced version of a spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a spyglass, which is the best thing. It lets you spot from far away. Like, let's say I want to tame that dimorphodon. Wait, this is the only hard part. I can, yeah, 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 what is he? Oh, he's a level 72. Hmm, might be worth taming pretty sweet you can do that and you can obviously just look at things that are far away that's obviously an option as well we got a crossbow whoops which you've seen i had a crossbow late last season and then this is the compound bow i honestly haven't messed around much with it but you get a better crosshair and i imagine it uh, does a little more damage uh, and then i've got this cooking pot been using that to make dye which I used to paint this all navy blue. And actually, if I remember, guys, this is a great way to kick us off. Uh, get that out of my hand. Uh, this is a great way to kick us off. I got more dye. Whoops. Waiting in there for me. Yeah, black and slate. And I think we're going to grab the paintbrush from just inside. Uh, and we'll try... Oh, I'll show you the inside of the base, too. I guess I got to do that. Uh, it's still pretty bare. I got some work to do on it, guys. Uh... Up here, bedroom. Uh, got a little storage in the rafters, and then a couple of bedside lights. A little reading light. Uh, put those down. All right, so let's grab my paintbrush, which I think is in this storage container, and we'll have a quick look and see. Yes, it is. Pretty sweet. There's also a brontosaurus egg in there. I'll have to do something with that. Let's take a look quickly. Sorry, before I do at my stats over here mostly leveling up health definitely leveling up carry weight now 
putting a little time and energy into melee damage, trying to up that. Uh, and hopefully if we have time in this episode, guys, we are going to go set out uh, for a base. It's going to be sick. Uh, I'm going to try the slate first, and we're going to try and just paint this place up. Let's see how much it changes it, because this is already gray. Okay, so I can choose that side. Let's uh, wait for... Okay, I think that's the wood. And then that's the other side. Yeah, let's do region 5. And we won't do much with the inside yet. So let's go on the outside and see how she looks. It's pretty subtle, but uh, I like it. And we can obviously up this as we go. Like, step it up and, and, and uh, paint the wood as well. And um, the bonus of all this, you can actually paint yourself and paint dinosaurs. Uh, I can paint my clothing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can actually see if I zoom out. I tried to do UTC colors, a little blue and orange. I'm not sure if it looks great. That blue is really vibrant, really. And the orange is pretty bright, too. Um, I haven't looked at how the foundations... I probably should have messed with dyeing a foundation first. Just to see how she's going to look, because that's going to be important. Um, uh, I know I mentioned people have been very generous, but I know there's some other people on that's the top and that's the sides. That's sweet. Um, there's some other people on the server, guys, that I think are eager to to uh, hit us up with some gifts, a uh, little, little housewarming, little starter gifts. And um, uh, I think we're, what we're going to do after I get this coat, fresh coat of paint on the place is um, set up a little um, sort of housewarming gift box. I think that would be cool. Uh, and hopefully people will be down. I mentioned I've already had some gifts. Lady M giving me zero one. Whoops. I guess there's no dye on my paintbrush. Uh, yeah, once you throw this dye on, guys, you get ten uses out of it. So, just, whoops. Get the brush in your hand and stop punching a wall, you moron. I think region 5 yet again would be ideal. It, tr it stays pretty consistent. So even when you have different pieces, region 5 roughly means the same thing. And that's why these are blacked out. Because on this one, there are no region 3, 4, and 5. Alright, this is coming together. I'm liking it. Um, although this is a little more time consuming than I imagined. Uh, I don't want to put you guys through too much of this. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go up and above to get this one. Um, the house, the house is a work in progress, but I wanted us to have a good one here at Spawn. I wanted us to have a place, uh, to call home that felt like home, felt safe, and had a lot of the basics. Uh, it was fine, the first couple days, borrowing from, uh, everybody else who was already here. But to be honest, I wanted to get, I wanted to get set up, be self-sufficient, and when I'm here in the mall, in the hotel, uh, I don't want to be, uh, sort of mooching off other people. I want to be... Uh, able to take care of myself here and that was the idea uh, well, by building this little house and plus I'd always wanted to see what a Skyrim inspired build whoops I think I painted the same wall twice a Skyrim inspired build would look like in this game you know what why don't I uh, I'll I'll finish dying this house and uh, I'll come back to you guys because we're just about ready for a little break when we come back we'll set up our little uh, housewarming gift box and then uh, I'll hop on zero two and we're gonna fly south to the site of where our new base will be. All right, guys, give me a sec. I'll be right back with you. So let me go. This is the, the finished product. Uh, I do have some work to do on it, including a little work on the inside. And you know what, guys? You know what, guys? Uh, let's, let's do that work on the inside. I have some things already ready to go to finish this place up. Uh, so... Uh, let me see. I know I had a table and chairs, among other things. I'll take the table. Six chairs. Fence catwalk. Hmm. All right. The rest of this stuff we may not need. You can see how much cool stuff we do have. And uh, I'm thinking that the... I'm a little bit torn. Uh, if I put a fireplace into this place, it will be right here. Um... 
storage cannot go under here. It doesn't fit, nor can it go in here. So if I'm going to have storage and there's going to be a fireplace there, that I think that means storage will end up being in this little this little lean-to, this little add-on. And I might even take the walls out, if that's the case, to make a little space. We'll see. Um, which makes this the perfect area to put a big table and surround it by some chairs. So I'll see. I haven't placed a table, or I haven't placed a table and chairs. I've placed a table like a desk in the past. Uh, so we'll see what this looks like. Oh, that's not bad. That, that's going to be just about perfect. And then this little room off to the side, if we ever do have, say, a kitchen set up, uh, I think that's how I'd do it. All right, so we'll put one. I d think six chairs might be overkill. Uh, put uh, you there, and we'll turn you. Right? Same thing now. I'm going to have them slightly askew, I think. I don't... I, whoops, sorry. I don't think this will be uh, perfectly lined up, and I'm not sure I want it to be. All right. Yeah, that's starting to come together. That's starting to feel like a dining area. I may not put a chair on this side. That way I have access to uh, to my little storage area there. If, or to my little whatever we end up using that area for. So I'll put one like that, and I'll put another one like this. Whoops. I can't see it now. Here. Nope. That's not going to work. Okay. Let's get me out of this camera, fool. And I'll put this one. We'll go there. I'll rotate you. All right. I like it. Not perfect, but it'll do. And uh, I'll throw everything we don't need in here. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of building at the new spot. I'm going to come back for this stuff at some point, but let's just uh, empty things out. We'll get set up with our... Yeah, let's do that right now. Let's set up a little... Hey, and heads up, if you're a member of the Iron Mine server and you're watching this... And you'd like to give me a little get started on your new base uh, housewarming gift. This right here is the spot. Temporary storage. And we're going to put... Whoops. I'm going to put one of these in. And I'll say use item. And I'll just do that. Just... Throw that in there. And um, I have already been given some pretty amazing housewarming gifts, guys. I think I stored it all. I know I just... Did I just empty my inventory? Uh, and just recently, uh, especially... Yes. Uh, so, Gil, who gave me the, the bird, the uh, Zero Two, he also gave me these chitin boots, leggings, gauntlets, chest piece, flak helmet. I haven't geared that stuff up yet or started using it. Spyglass, I think he gave me a sickle, a pick... Uh, some real good stuff. I think there was even crystal in there. Uh, so very much appreciated. And then, um, my man, uh, Cryo, uh, just, uh, flying by his base said, Hey man, stop in. And uh, I did. And he gave me the following things. A long neck rifle. Tranquilizer darts. Uh, I forget what else. I think some trank arrows. He gave me the compound bow we're now using. And a whole extra set of tools. Uh, but I did leave some of those down by uh, the new base, which I was originally going to bring you guys along uh, for that ride to come with me. Um, but I went ahead and scouted it out in advance. Um, and you know what? This episode's running long, but I think I want to fly down there this episode. I want to show you what I have in mind. Oh, the problem is this island's pretty crowded. Uh, not pretty crowded, but uh, there's a lot of the... the prettier, oh, yeah, better spots on this island have been built on already. So I've been scouting. I found a spot, guys, and we'll end this episode by me flying over it and showing you what I've got in mind, okay? I'll take one more break, and I will be back with you. Uh, oh, there's a T-Rex. Yeah, he's T-Rexing face. Hi, buddy. Yeah, beast. See you later. 
You bastard. Um, yeah. Um, you know, having been given the gift of uh, a flying dinosaur, or two gifts of flying dinosaurs, was a game changer early on, guys. If we were grounded, uh, I would be building a base very, very close to the hotel and the mall. Um, but with this bird, we got the freedom to explore the entirety of the map. And I pretty much did that today while looking for cool, picturesque locations to build on. Um, what ended up sending me down this end was Cryo, who again is, uh, uh, one of the guys on the server. He actually, I think, for the most part, isn't posting too many YouTube videos these days, because he's in a sort of internet bandwidth hell, uh, as I currently am, but I'm forcing my way out of it financially. Um, but yeah, he, um, uh, he uh, pointed out that there's a cool waterfall down this way, and when I went to check it out, I found, mm, too bad, it had already been built on a little bit, which is a bummer, but, um, but the good news is, is um, I found an awesome spot right next to it. The spot I found looks like the kind of place where you'd host a season of Survivor if your name was Jeff's, Jeff Probst, um, and uh, it's just picturesque, uh, not vicious jungle, and from what I've read up on Crags Island, it is one of the single safest places on the island. Uh, the big mega predators, they can spawn there, but they don't uh, very often and rarely in packs. So we might have a safe little home, and um, Cryo, his base is uh, back behind us, but this is the cool waterfall he directed me to, and I got out this way, started thinking, damn, this looks good, I'd love to build here. And then I got up here and realized, well, nope, somebody beat me to it, which is a bummer. Uh, but hopefully the spot that we've got lined up, and I'll take you there now, is even better, guys. I'm hoping. Uh, so let me hop on. I think this is it right here. Yeah. Check this out. That giant island. Uh, now that's part of it. All that is actually part of it. Um, but we'll do a flyby. We'll have a, have a flyover. Now, there's jungle biomes. Uh... Uh, in the game, and they're recognizable by the ground not being grass, but being ferns and stuff, and this whole ground is grass, so if you were to take out a bunch of these trees, you would, uh, you would have a, a almost a, a grass-covered hill, it would look like plains almost, stupid, stupid bugs, leave me the hell alone, uh, and it climbs up to this peak, which is pretty sweet, and, uh, oops, there we go, and up on this peak, this is where our centerpiece build will go. Whatever we end up deciding to build up here. I don't want to start up here. Um, hi, what are you? Oh, stupid. Get wrecked, you bastards. Oh, there's a raptor here, too. We'll see you later. Okay, so we're going to have to kill that raptor. Uh, yeah. Uh, but what I was thinking is that you could take out some of these trees, but leave a ring of trees surrounding this mountain to sort of encircle whatever base you build up here. That is my my beginner plan. And then this island sort of has a yin-yang type shape to it. If you have a look, uh, you know, that kind of curved piece off to the left, I think that is the best place to start building. Um, we've got uh, uh, just a grassy, slightly rocky island with nothing on it. No one's been here. This is all ours to build with, guys, and I'm stoked. Uh, now, I don't think we'll have much time for that building in this episode. In fact, we're running long over already, but uh, I got big plans, and uh, I want to keep it up. I have so many ideas. I wanted to be on the water for one main reason, guys. I want to build a boat. Not like the boat we built last time, but a big-ass boat. So beyond getting us uh, set up with a little starter cottage and hopefully a ton of really cool builds uh, down this way in the future, hopefully throughout the whole life of this Iron Mine Season 2, um, this is going to be our home. And I cannot wait to get into it and explore it, guys. And I hope you're excited as well. If you have ideas, if you have inspiration, send them my way. I'm at Unite the Clans on Twitter, and I always love getting sent pictures of cool things, whether they're builds in the game or builds I can emulate in the game. You let me know. Um, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of, oh, you can barely see my face, for this episode of uh, ARK from the Iron Mind server. I'm Unite the Clans saying thank you.
for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. You stay cool and